Hello and welcome to Apex Point, a brand new game focused on JDM tuning. It was on my radar for a while now and uh, well that was quite a long time really because I managed to forget about it completely and well I just found out it came out last month. So yeah here we are we will be checking it out and well hopefully building something nice in there. This video is not sponsored by any means. Uh, I had to buy this game on Steam. It is, I don't know, about $10, I believe? I don't know, I am not familiar with this currency, because I am uh, uh, paying in Polish uh, złoty uh, on Steam for everything, and it was like uh, 69 uh, PLM. Uh, yeah, nice. Okay, I tried to hook up my controller to it, but there's no setting for dead zones yet. Well, overall, as you can see, this game is a bit rough around the edges and it has some issues. Anyway, I guess I will not play it on controller for now, cause, well, I am drifting in every possible direction. Yeah, so premise of this game is really, really fun. You can take apart whole car, basically, as you can see. Uh, you can take off everything of it. It reminds me a bit uh, of uh, Street Legal Racing, I think it was. Uh, yeah, in this game you could also take apart whole car, uh, change the engine, change every possible part and, uh, well, build something of your own. Here we are in 2023 and we have a possible new successor to this game. Sorry if I sounded like Street Legal Racing was any good. I didn't mean it, uh, it wasn't by any means, but it was quite a unique game for its time and, well, there wasn't, wasn't anything like it really. There were uh, Need for Speeds and stuff, but there weren't um, so much into customization like uh, this game. Like really, it was kinda shite and this one isn't much better really. The handling feels good, so I guess that's nice. I guess we could get something better or try changing this car around so it is a bit faster, because I think it has uh, like 20 horsepower right now. Yeah, there are dyno tests uh, in this game. Uh, I will show it to you in a bit. I was frantically looking for a handbrake and I found it. It's under B on my controller. Yeah, I hooked it up again, tried to do it again, but well, it doesn't do much. Like, see, well, you can slide on it in any way. Okay, these hands are real, real weird. Okay. As I said, uh, this game is a bit rough around the edges, uh, as I'm saying it when my character is getting a seizure attack. Uh, oh well, let's move on to tuning, <laughs> shall we? I've been scrolling through this list for a few minutes now and I can't really see many things that could improve our Power. There's no whole engine, uh, new engine that is, or bigger engine, there's only three cylinder ones for this car. I think uh, these pieces are sorted uh, based upon the car you, are, you own, so yeah, we are working on our, well, soapbox really. Yeah, by trying stuff out I just found out how tedious uh, modifying engine in this game is. Well, I believe you can move it up, you can lift it with, with this, but uh, well, it doesn't really help you. Maybe if we take it apart then we can work on the engine. I was looking for a place to hang this engine and uh, well work on it like that, but I can't find any way to do so. Well, there's this crane here, but it is purely cosmetic, it seems. Well, that's a shame. Yeah, I just took apart the whole car by accident, and I am using good old tactic of spamming left mouse button, like in Street Legal Racing. So yeah, there are your similarities between these two games. The painting mechanics in this game are also quite in-depth, so you can uh, really paint any body part, any color you want, uh, that is. 
Okay. This looks cursed. Uh, anyway, as you can see, there's also way to paint the engine, I think. Yes, you can paint the head gasket. And I believe there will be a few more parts on the other cars. With that said, let's move on from this... Well, this thing from for, to something that will be much, much better to look at and much better to drive. Although there's a way to, well, to earn money in this game, I am not going to do so. Uh, it would be a lot of grind to buy any of these cars. Like you can see, we started with, what, uh, one and a half million yen? And yeah, this one is uh, around four million yen. So with earning rate of this game, which is around, I believe, uh, 20 to 30 thousand yen, that would be a few hours to buy anything, and I want to show this game off to you. And, well, I might buy both of these cars and see what they can do. This one is, well, I'm not sure what it is supposed to be. It looks like a 70s Celica, Toyota Celica, mixed with a uh, Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. Uh, yeah. I am not sure though, because of this front end. Well, but there's your uh, muscle car look of the 70s. And this one, well, this one is pretty obvious. It is EG5 Honda Civic. Uh, it is even named EG, EG6 here. Okay, I didn't notice it. Uh, yeah, so let's start with this one, modify it and see what it, it can do, what changes we can make to it. The one thing I really, really like about this game are the engine slash exhaust sounds. Well, give it a listen. It is really something you would uh, well like to hear if you owned one of these cars, or at least some people would. I know not everyone is uh, into uh, very okay. He just smashed into us. Guess we wave nothing, and he also waves nothing. Good to know. I guess uh, the physics of this game have to be worked on also. What was I talking about before I was uh, abruptly interrupted? Oh yeah, uh, loud exhausts. Well, not everyone likes them, but well, I am sure at least once in your lifetime you heard uh, Civic that is insanely loud, deafeningly loud. Uh, well, some people say the JDMs are all about that. I am not really sure. Uh, I owned Civic that had straight through uh, exhaust. It does not have it anymore because I had to change it due to uh, well um, due to MOT. And uh, well, I am not going back to the loud one because well, I like it much better now. I can silently listen to my music now. Anyway, let's get back to the game now and give it a listen and look how the whole car reacts to giving it some throttle. Yeah, I like it quite a bit. Uh, let's move on to the garage and see what modifications we can uh, apply to this one. Going through this list again, yeah, look, like you can see, there's quite a bit of parts you can uh, mount here, but I think most of them are basic ones. There are a few ones, though, that are tuning parts purely, like these headers here. Uh, obviously, turbo, you can turbo this engine, which is quite fun, in my opinion. And yeah, obviously you can go with huge exhaust tip, uh, the bus tube, if you will. And, uh, well, I am going to go with it. Also, I am going to go through a few more engine parts and see what we can do with it. The other parts here are quite usual. Yeah, you can change basically any body panel you want. You can change the whole interior. You can give it a cage. Also, you can change, obviously, the rims. Something bigger, something better, if you will. And, of course, changing the tires is also an option. Oh, you can even all-wheel drive swap it. That's quite fun. Yeah, so I went kinda masochistic and decided to build a whole new engine and turbo it. I was just replacing the exhaust tip. And, uh, well, now, how do you lower this car? You can only go up like this. 
Okay, I think I figured it out. You just uh, lift it all the way up and then it goes down, okay? That's uh, fine, I guess. Also, as you can see, there are quite few issues with this car now. There are some pipes uh, getting out here and there. Oh, I didn't mean to remove the hood. I wanted to open it. And as you can see, this engine is built quite strange. There's this intercooler pipe and that's uh, heading straight to nothing as we are running ITBs here. And also it is hooked to nothing, I think, because I don't believe I've put an intercooler here. Also, like you can see, there's uh, it on my inventory list. So yeah, there's quite a bit of issues with this car, but as you will see in a second, it works just fine. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> look at this fire. <laughs> Jesus, what the... <laughs> what have I made? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry for that outburst there, but this is hilarious and I had to lower the game volume because, well, my neighbors will think I am shooting an <laughs> assault rifle in there with all this backfire and front fire. <laughs> okay, this is a bit too much, I think. But that is the best sleeper you could have, I guess. Yeah, let's run it through dino tests, cause I said a while before that there are, they are there. So yeah, we can move and uh, check it out. Yeah, also I just fell out of map. Did I mention this game is rough I'm around the edges? Oh, here we are, <laughs> back in our garage, okay. I think I don't need to explain to you what dyno tests are. Uh, we are here, we can test this car, let's run it and look at our backfires again, I guess. Okay, let's see how much it can make. I guess we are making up to 360 horsepower and 380 newton meters of torque. So, yeah, I guess our drivetrain can't stand that kind of force. Guess it's good this game doesn't have any uh, form of uh, damage to the car, cause, well, we would be broken right away with this kind of torque. Cause really I haven't changed anything beside the engine, so yeah, this stress must be enormous. I went again to used car dealership to see if there's anything new and look at that. I guess you know what it is. Toyota AE86, well it is in this game, it would be quite strange if there wasn't one, cause well, it is the JDM of JDMs, uh, really. Uh, I don't know if we want to buy it or not, I guess we could try another car, but I don't think there will be much difference. Uh, also, I am not going to tune another one, this video is getting long enough anyway, so yeah, we will be wrapping this one um, now. The last thing I want to talk about are ways of earning money in this game, well, there's not much of it uh, for now in there, but, uh, well, there are two types or three, I think? There are delivery missions, that's this box thing on the map, so I guess you could uh, go deliver some tofu if you wanted, uh, but you are delivering the boxes, really. And the other part are the drug races, that's the thing I am at right now, we might try it now, and there are two more types, I think. There are uh, normal races, correct me if I'm wrong, and there are um, drift competitions. Well, let's end it off with a nice drag race, shall we? So I guess you are racing against nobody here, you are going uh, for a time on a half mile race. And the rewards are based on what time you can make it. Let's try ourselves out. Okay, let's go. I don't want to drive uh, Civic here because, well, it's quite loud, it's quite annoying with all this backfire. Also, the stick drift is killing me here. 
I need to change this gamepad, really. Jesus, this thing is slow as heck. Okay, and we are finished. So, 0 to 100, 9 seconds, and 26.6 seconds uh, to do a uh, half mile. So, I guess you could grind money uh, on these races as well. But yeah, this game is quite empty as of now. Uh, okay, the physics are literally broken. As you can see, uh, let's try driving into smaller car, maybe. <laughs> yeah, and uh, they have no weight. Also, this game feels quite empty, really, because there's not much about it. There's... Uh, I don't think there's any race against AI yet. You are racing against time. Um, again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I haven't seen any possibility to drive against AI. Still, this is quite fun premise to the game and, well, it is quite a bit glitched. There's, uh, there are parts of the map that are still completely empty, as you can see, look at the hut, uh, how the roads are uh, set, and here we are driving into nothingness, and now we are falling out of the map again. Yeah. It will be better if we finish it off here. As I said, this game is, uh, well quite rough around the edges really there is a lot of work to be done around the optimization of this whole thing because it is laggy as heck and uh, there are quite a few bugs the game well feels empty there's not much uh, other than tuning in the cars but still i had quite a bit of fun with it uh, and i am going to observe it and uh, check out in a well i don't know how long few months maybe what was changed uh, and uh, how it developed hopefully it won't be abandoned it will be still um, getting new updates new content so yeah thanks for watching and see you in the next one